Hey folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Gran Turismo. I think last time I was looking at this Camaro and thinking, that's nice. 279 horsepower? Yeah. You could do better. I'm not sure whether or not the, uh... Let's go to the Chevy dealership. Look at the new cars. The C28 probably... Okay, promises. Not quite the same thing, but yeah. Regular Corvette. 330 horsepower, Grand Sport. 330 horsepower. What could I get out of this uh, little Corvette? I don't think I could uh, turbocharger in or cool it. That would be a little silly. NA tuning. Could tune it up to 207, not to 310, to 350. Only to 350, huh? Well, it's not exactly earth-shattering, is it? That's a pity. Now let's take a look at uh, what the racing modification line would look like. It's a much nicer looking racing modification than the standard Camaro that we've seen in the other uh, races. So it's got that going for it. One thing, folks, have a look at it. This is pretty much the last Camaro. I mean, I know they started making new Camaros now. If this was the last Camaro, this was the end of its overall trajectory. Um, I like to think of it as the, the, as the like, original styling trajectory. Um, because the new one came out, and they're like, I know, let's make it retro. But this is basically what um, they were looking like um, as you would sort of go along. You know, sort of building from one generation, advancing the look a little, another generation advancing the look a little, so on and so on. Like the new ones, I mean, it's a thing that they've done. I mean, you know, they did it with the Mustang, and that's one of the reasons the Camaro came back, because they saw what a big hit the, like, renewed Mustang was. Um, but yeah, so it's... I mean, you know, there's nothing good or bad about it, necessarily. It just I find it sort of interesting. Anyhow, wait, what is the race that I was thinking might be fun to do? Or that I still need to do? Ah, USA versus Japan. Well, what do you do for something like that? Is there a car in my home garage that I think would be really great for this or something? I mean, outside of the Impreza Rally Edition? What if I, uh... I mean, I'm sure that the GTO Twin Turbo could do the job. What is the best I could do with tuning up this SVX? And can it be race modified? I think... I can't remember. I feel like all the cars in this game can be race modified. It wasn't until later editions when they're like, No, nah, you can't race modify all these cars. Get out of here. STI. Freeze. Special Triminal Investigation. You can race modify an SVX. And it looks like that. Okay. That's kind of... I mean, that's good to know. Gonna go in here, check out the turbo kits. 253 horsepower, 301 horsepower, 389 horsepower, or... Okay, just 389 horsepower. That's the most that you can do. I feel like I'm gonna need something upwards of 400 horsepower if I'm gonna be able to compete with any of the, you know, potential, uh, uh, Vipers that will show up. Yeah, I remember this was something that I noticed every time I started this game. There are no Subarus that you can buy from the very start of the game. Because, you know, you have 10,000 credits, right? Alright. So, nothing of, in nothing of note there. No, oh, it might be nice, actually. A nice uh, Nissan 300ZX, or as they called them in Japan, the Fair Lady Z. Twin turbo two seater, twin turbo two by two. Not as expensive as the uh, Skyline GTR, of course. GTR V spec. What's going on here? 
I especially like this variant of the uh, Nissan Skyline GTR, possibly because of this game. This is when I first saw it. I mean, you look at it, and it's actually, I mean, it's kind of a chunky, blocky-looking car. But, um, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pick up a Z car. Because there is no special version of the Z car that you can, uh... Let's see, white, silver metallic. That silver's nice looking. Although, that dark blue graphite is as well. Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna race. If I do anything with this, it's gonna be race modified, so why am I lollygagging? I got into my fair lady. I wonder, were there any fair ladies um, available for sale used? They're pulsars. Nope. Fair lady, not a used car option. Let's go to Nismo here. Check out the racing modifications. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Green? No. You get red, white, and blue. Those are the Nissan racing colors. Now, what can I do? Blowing this turbo up. 356, 455, 534. All right. It's more like it. All right, let's get going uh, making this thing as cool as possible. As bitchin' as it can be. Bitchin' as bitchin' can be. Installed that mess successfully. Wait, why am I going back to the... No! No! All right, let's go back to the Nissan dealer here. Let's go back to Nismo. Did I get the brake balance controller? I didn't. And I know, I just wasted $10,000 on that thing, because I'm probably not going to adjust the brake balance. I hear your hue and cry, and I ignore it. I don't really ignore it, folks. I'm sensitive to your needs. Really. Okay. Yeah. More fine... T that's right, you can't NA-tune this. It's twin-turbocharged already. Now, let's get the, uh... Let's get the gearbox going. Let's get the special clutch going. Yes. Let's get the special flywheel going. Boy, I hope I have enough money for all the modifications. Because there are a lot of modifications to be made here. Still. The, uh, racing intercooler. And, uh, let's take a look at what our final power output's gonna be here. 670. That's mighty respectable. 670 horsepower. We have 134 thousand dollars left. We're gonna need to get racing suspension. Oh boy. We are cutting it tight here with our funds, aren't we? Fifteen thousand dollars for super soft tires. soft racing tires. And finally, racing modifications. So, okay, we did have enough money. Yay! That's been performed successfully. Now it's time to see whether or not this car, with all of that work, can take on the world's best. Japanese and American cars meet head-on, apply directly to the forehead. And a lot of those circuits that we have already seen a little bit of. Anyhow, let's go ahead and try this. I know, you're all thinking I'm a traitor to my cause. I'm an American, and I'm in the American-Japanese car championship, and I'm driving a Japanese car. Well, whatever. Ha 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 ha. That is what I say to all of you. Uh, let me go ahead and... Let me do a test run, because I've not driven this car. Yep, that sure does, uh...
boy, this thing uh, sure is uh, This does uh, rev awfully slowly off the boil. I'm uh, not going to lie to you. And it will spin. And it will stall if uh, you... I mean, I guess the game doesn't allow the car to actually stall and the engine to, like, shut off, but, uh... The car did want to stall out there because I was attempting to drive off in too low a gear. Let's see if I can actually drive this car properly. I know, you're all saying, that wasn't a good start, Bobo. You're all right. Anyhow, the, uh, well, it's kind of like the Nissan 300ZX. Um, there are a couple reasons for it. One, because, I mean, heck, we never had the Skyline, so, um, if you liked Nissans, you probably liked this car as the, like, oh, man, that's a really cool sports car. That wasn't terrible. Why don't I try starting the qualifying session and see what happens? Oof, yeah, this thing has immense amounts of turbo lag. I'm curious, because of course this has a five-speed transmission, which uh, in the sort of like elite of cars today, that's ridiculous. Uh, real cars have million gear transmissions. Actually, I have a, like, I have a car with a uh, five-speed transmission now, and uh, it's a, not an expensive or extra fancy car, and it's an automatic. So that's one thing that has changed in uh, the intervening years from uh, the start of Gran Turismo to now. I love the giant whistle of turbo. Shh. Well, okay, so this isn't going to be a very good lap now, because uh, I crashed. I um, wonder how far off I am after that. Whether or not I'll be able to make it up in a race. Whether or not once... Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. No! You see what I see, folks? 
There's no competing with that. There's none. If I'd have known they were going to be bringing the big guns, I wouldn't have tried to go out there and just sort of spruce up a little car that I found in a dealership. I would have gone for one of those extra fancy special models. This is not going to happen. This is not going to work. I can tell already I won't be saving this. I might save this as a little bit of an extra fail reel just in case the reaction to, oh my god, ends up being fun for you, but uh, no. But, I mean, look at that rally car. Just shoot off into the distance. Like, it's not even going to be just me. Like, it is going to power ahead of all of the other cars in this championship, too. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm not able to uh, handle this car. This is what I get for... Uh Always try and go one championship too far in the morning, huh? I really should have put this session to bed. What if I just leapt across like this? I can't help it, he's got all-wheel drive! No fair! Come back! No! I can't do this! It's probably possible, but I can't, because I'm just, you know... Because I'm me. Also, because I once again have tried to continue playing games too late. Especially though I'm also going to be trying to make witty LP commentary. Ah! So close! And yet, completely far off. That's right! I used you, and I'm going to use you too. I didn't use you in a very efficient way. But I thought it would be fun to try. Hey, calm down there, car. This is taking up my entire viewable space. Ouch. I keep hitting walls and failing, both because I'm not very good at this and because, you know. <laughs> this may be a fun fail reel video, I don't know. Why don't I just drive this around at a relaxed cruising speed, then? Why don't I, uh, maintain my, uh, lane? Oh, because I can't maintain my own lane.
Yeah, I know. I finished, like, at least 45 seconds or so behind everyone else. Maybe not 45 seconds, but still. 21 seconds. Yeah, that wasn't very good, folks. That was not very good. Actually, probably I'm not that far behind everybody else here on power. But, uh... Yeah, it's just never going to work. Let's look at the entry list. I'm actually ahead of everybody on power. Uh, 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 uh. I just suck then. Okay, that's fair. I mean, it is fair, folks. Entry list. Let's see. I do have the heaviest car. I can cry myself to sleep at that knowledge. So I got that. But, uh, yeah. Really, the Impreza Rally Edition is in this whole thing. Yeah, I'm going to skip the qualifying. I'm going to skip the championship. I may use the rest of this video to just sort of poke around and look at some other cars. Exiting the championship. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Now, of course, the thing that I'm trying to avoid doing is I don't want to buy cars that I then will win in a championship, so I can't remember. I have to go back and check a fact, see which cars you do win in a championship. I have heard people uh, extol up and down the virtues of... Well, this is the GTO LM edition. I thought there was a special um, edition FTO car. Maybe there is, and it's only a prize car. Huh. Well, okay, but there's the GTO LM edition. I'm sure that's nice. Um, what if we go to... Well, no. If we go to Mugen, they won't be able to help me. Go look at a special model and get a special edition uh, NSX. Forget if you can't... If there's any other way to get a special NSX. Of course, the other thing is, I'm um, pretty sure there's no way, other way to get a special edition uh, Chevy Corvette. Although I don't know if Corvette is the best car. You've never seen anything like this before. This is, uh, <laughs> you know, I think I had it in my favorites for a while. It may still even be there, but um, when this model of Corvette, uh, I guess the... Uh, Previously, the, the, the tail end there, you see how sort of it, it sort of rounded outwards. It used to have sort of a scallop cut along just the back where the tail lights are there. Um, an inwardly uh, scooped sort of section there. I always thought that looked a little bit cooler than the, uh, than the uh, rear, the way that it looks right there. But either way... Um, I go have a look online. There's like, I think it's like a minute and a half or two minutes long. It's like a really long commercial. It may have been like a super long commercial that ran on like the Super Bowl or something like that. But uh, for like the 84 Chevy Corvette, and it's like the most 1980s viewing experience I can think of. Just like everything that they thought was awesome in the 80s is sort of in there, other than like, you know, maybe giant hair and, uh, you know, poison. Um, not poison like the material that will kill you, but like the band poison. You guys know what I'm talking about. Special model. I'm almost positive that you can get a different version of, um, a Skyline GTR. And even if you can't, there's a better... You can, you can tune up a Skyline to, uh, more impressive feats than that. Special model, maybe an RX-7, a special RX-7. That's a nice looking car right there, too. I've always, yeah, I've always admired, well, all the iterations of the RX-7, but uh, especially the final one, as it w as it is here. They continued to make uh, rotor engine cars, but after this came the RX-8. Um, they made three different, there would have been the RX-7 since the 70s, and then finally they moved up to RX-8, and it was this sort of like, it has like four doors, and... Uh, and honestly, they're kind of nice. I, uh, yeah. Uh, not that cozy in there. Uh, pretty cozy in the back, um, as I recall, but still. 
What about this special model? Castrol Supra GG. That could be good. That might be a good thing to uh, plunk half a million dollars on. Of course, uh... Yeah. Well, anyways, folks. I'm probably going to keep this as a video, but I'm still not going to save it, so I uh, hope you don't feel too suckered by that. I may come back and build another one of these again if I feel really ashamed of the fact that I'm loading now so that I can save this money that I put into making this. But, um... I just don't know. I just was not really feeling it. I'm sure that with some, uh potentially some suspension tuning, maybe some changes in gearing to try and keep the uh, engine revving higher more often, or more at the time, you know, the, the sweet spot of its rev range. You know, I'm sure with a lot of development this could be a really nice car. I just, I'm just not, A, I'm not that good at developing cars in Gran Turismo, and B, I eh, can't be arsed. There are other cars that will do this job. Either way, folks, I like it because I'm a big fan of, I mean, this, this for one, Z cars in general. My, uh, my father actually owned uh, one of the first, uh, one of the original uh, Datsun 240Zs back when those were new. Um, seemed pretty cool. Uh, a friend of mine in college had uh, the first iteration of 300ZX, which if you've ever seen it is this sort of wedge-shaped thing. Um, yeah, you know, take or leave that, but this, I thought, you know, it's very nicely styled. The, the, the headlights are, you know, they're, they're sort of large and sort of, sort of weirdly canted in a way that's like sort of off-putting the first time that you look at it, but, uh, it grows on you. Also, I'm a big fan of sort of those slatted kind of like thin tail lights. But uh, that's a personal preference thing, and clearly one that uh, people have gone away from. Of course, now the big thing in uh, car lighting is LEDs. Gotta have LED lights. They don't actually illuminate anything, but they make this little shape. You can get a string of little tiny dots of light and, like, like draw a smiley face inside the, like, headlight array. I'm like, what? Come on, people. Anyways... I'm sort of going all over the map now with all this stuff, but uh, I'm just letting everybody have a good look at the car here because I'm thinking I'm going to reload and it won't exist anymore. I know, very sad. But anyways, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and uh, this is uh, Let's Play Gran Turismo, and uh, when we come back, I don't know, I may have... Um, I may have played some more to get some money and to get the extra prize cars that you can get in this champion uh, by by winning some of the championships that I sort of ran through a couple of championships boom 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 real quick there um, so because I got one prize car or I got one I got one car did really well managed to have a lot of money at the end of it then I bought another car that was a uh, shoe in for another championship which earned me a car that was a shoe-in for another championship, which earned me a car that was a shoe-in for another championship. Sort of had, yeah, like from the from the rally car. Like the 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 Mega Speed Championship left me with enough money that I could get a Subaru rally car or whatever like stuff that I did to load. Had enough money for the Subaru rally car. With the rally car, I won the Cerebra LM edition. With the Cerbera LM edition, I immediately went and won the Dodge Concept car, which, you know, I went and used probably excessively to excessively trounce the folks on the Sunday Cup or whichever cup that was. I suppose I could look it up right now. The GT League. It was the Clubman Cup. The Sunday Cup is the one that you get the Demio in. The Demio. D -d 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 Demio. Anyways, folks, um, I suppose in case I haven't actually mentioned it, but, um, so, I'm probably going to do everything else first anyways, but all these special events and the endurance race, they're all actually for not. Um, the only, like, there's only one 
set of there's only one event that you actually have to win to quote unquote win the game the Gran Turismo World Cup the highest class in Gran Turismo the ultimate challenge with real racing cars um, I'll probably use my Impreza Rally car for this but either way 50, I mean it's not even that much of a yeah I mean it's not even a huge it's a long championship, as you can see there, um, but like the the championship bonus is not even as big as some of the other events. But this is the event that when you win this event, you get like credits roll and the the closest thing that you, which is basically you know like as as much as you get of an ending in this game. I'm sorry, there is no like. Oh my gosh, uh, uh, the, the story suddenly sprouts up and a, like, you know, um, Luca de Matazemolo, like, approaches you and says, Yes, I want you to drive for Ferrari. Ha ha ha. Because that's what Luca de Matazemolo actually sounds like, for sure. Wink. Thumbs up. Uh-huh. No. Um, actually, is he even still in charge of Ferrari? I don't know. I was hearing he was thinking about getting into politics. Either way, I'm rambling. I haven't actually done a whole lot of racing in this video. I'm just sitting and chatting with you guys about cars and stuff. I suppose that's the stuff that I should have been doing when I was racing. But I was trying to concentrate on the races. Either way, folks. Um, this is Bobo the Vulture. <laughs> as uh, weird as it is, this has been an episode of Let's Play Gran Turismo. Uh, sort of a fail reel. Don't know if I'm going to bother to put in a different fail reel playlist or what, but I thank you guys very much for watching. When we come back next time, uh, we'll try and succeed. Thanks, folks. Bye now.